time and place that five days I'm out. On my way. Let me hook up the teardrop. I'm on my way. Out on the highway. Brand new day. Keep the best. North and south, it don't matter which way we go. Look up here. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to say, kind of tough open there, quickly, but you got space for it, don't you? Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be handy. Yeah, I had a while for that. Yeah, it's cool. I'm sure you've got a while. It's just me and the wife sometimes, dog. Just trying to enjoy this life. What, what's going on here? We're the Indiana Tour Jerkers, and we've been camped out here in the parking lot, waiting to meet you, and we wanted to show off our little trailer. Been camped out here in, the, in this parking lot? Yes. Been camped here a while? Yes. You know, the, the station's moved down the street a ways. It's about a block and a half down, down the street here a ways. Okay, well, I tried to figure out how to get over there and how they got over there in the first place. Uh, Bob, I sense a theme here. Uh, yes, my Hoosier roots. All right. <laughs> I built many barns for a hobby for I don't know how many years. Okay. And somebody told me I'd do a barn trailer, so out of a bad joke, I decided I'd take them up on it. Uh, it's a lot rubier than my teardrop. I have a teardrop with a clear roof, and in the summertime it gets extremely hot. So we put a white roof on this one, and we use it in the dead heat of summer, and uh, it's a lot cooler and a little more room to get up and get dressed. We call it a slouchy in the in the vernacular because you can't quite stand up without banging your head, but you can still get your pants on. And that's known as a slouchy. It's a slouchy. Well, you learn something new every day on a cross <laughs> Indiana. Now, I was just expecting someone's shed was missing from their backyard. Well, they're still looking for it, but... Uh, <laughs> I camouflage it and change the color. I actually built this in 10 or 12 working days. Just showing somebody that for less than $1,000, you can have a trailer with a full bedroom and a kitchen and, and go on down the road and have a good time. And a barn door. And a barn door. We close now with another line from the movies. If I... What do you think the allure of the, uh, the teardrop trailer is? What makes it uh, so neat? Well, I guess what convinced me to make it and, and I think it's somewhat universal. Uh, I didn't want to invest a lot of money in an RV. Uh, our subdivision doesn't allow parking RVs in the driveway. Okay. So it had to be something to fit in the garage. And I'm, I'm kind of a guy that likes to do things, make things. And I thought, that's something I could do. So we talked about it. And, set some design criteria. Rose's criteria was it had to have a queen size bed. All right. Which made it wider than a conventional teardrop. This is five feet wide. And uh, so we've got oak with poplar trim and then it's got six coats of green varnish on it. Sanded between each coat. It took a while. Looks nice. It's been Thank a long, you. hard week with no wind in sight. I work all day and half the night. No time for fun, no time to play. But after five days, I'm out of here. I'm on my way. 
Honey, hook up the teardrop I'm on my way Out on the highway It's a brand new day East or west, north or south It don't matter which way we go Hook up the teardrop Head off down the road 